what's going on so we are out back and just for a minute here I just wanted to uh, show you how cool this uh, camo design is behind me is my cooler somewhere now I don't know if you can see it from where that camera is placed but I just wanted to show this to you so you can see how well it actually blends in so don't lose it when you're hunting shaky there today a little too much growing and throwing last night I guess can you see it yet I think you can it's it blends in pretty good but we'll walk up on it here now check that out does that not look cool or what I think that turned out pretty good guys now if you want to know how to do this just continue watching all right guys one of the first things you want to do is lay down some something protective you know so you don't overspray onto your table you also want to protect the inside see I got some painters tape and shoved a bag in there just to keep overspray I'm getting in there this is just my little lunch box uh, I've had it about 10 years so it's time to do a little facelift on it now one of the first things you're gonna do is you're gonna pick yourself a uh, bottom coat color an under coat and I'm gonna go with a darker green I think Oh shit, that's black. No, that ain't black, that's green. No, that's black. Or gray. Nice. That's alright though. There we go. Now you don't need it to be a solid color, you know, not real solid at all. So you're going to be painting over top of it anyway. trying to get rid of a lot of that solid white or whatever color core you have. Now we'll let that dry and we'll come back to it. Right. Now that you got your base coat set and fairly dry, or all the way dry, you're going to put another coat on there of a different color, a lighter color preferably. Okay? Just, you don't want to cover the whole thing. You just want to get some detail kind of color in there. <laughs> I 
Now you can watch a lot of different people do this a lot of different ways. And uh, every way looks good. And you'll see why. Now first I'm going to start with my background pictures. And what I did is I walked out back and I got me some branches. Just some you know, twigs and stuff that were laying on the ground. And you might want to thin them out just a little bit so you get a better uh, shadow. That's what these are going to be, just shadow branches. I'll tell you what, I'll get a different one. Like this. You can take your black paint. And the thing about doing nice little light coats is you ain't got to wait real long for them to dry. It's actually a little bit too big, so we'll just break that down. And I don't know if you can see that on that camera or not, but that gives you a little bit of a shadow in the back and what you're going to do line your shit back up move it just a hair and hit that with some white this little branch isn't working quite right I'll get a different one I'll try this one Hit it with the black. Oh shit, that's the white. Damn it. I may have to start over. Move it just a hair. Tell you what, that's not working for me at all. We'll just move on to the better stuff, the foreground. Check that out, a fern. Always shake your cans, make sure that they're good and ready. Start with the black. You know what? I'm just going to start over. Alright, as you can see, I started over. I painted everything brown. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my light green. And this, you can see that design right there. All you got to do is just give yourself some room to for your whatever leaf you're going to use. We'll take and use, uh, I think we'll take and use this one right there. See this? Set her down. So just a real light coat of black, nice and easy. And you shift it just a little bit, a little bit of white. That's how you get that. Kind of over sprayed a little bit. I don't like this paint, but okay, we can do another one. Let's see. Let's 
just do a different leaf. I don't like that either. Alright, so what we're going to do is start over again. Yay us. Alright, so I didn't like the way that was turning out, so I went ahead and did a brown color as a base coat. And uh, what you do, what you can do is get yourself a light green. Just paint your little spot. Leaves like this are really cool where they got like little uh, bug marks in them. Those bugs have been eating on them. Set that on there just good. A real light coat over top of that. Get your paint mixed up. just a hair wow wow look at that that is tits money right there buddy that is cool as shit get you another one And you don't have to actually paint over your base coat if you want to do a little bit of that way you can get some different color leaves going on Set that right in front of the damn lens, didn't I? How sick is that, man? And then you just keep doing the same thing with different style leaves, wherever you want them. Man, I just set my arm right in them leaves. You see that? Look at that shit, motherfuckers. God damn. Maybe I need to crack one so I can get my damn fucking head right. Thank you. 
Yeah, that one didn't turn out too good. Try to redo that one a little bit because that one looked really nice. Not too shabby there. Of course, with bigger, uh, bigger platforms, bigger things, you can do a lot better. Uh, you know, a lot more detail. But now you got the basic idea. We're going to go ahead and finish this up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Mm -hmm.